Liberal Senator Arthur Sinodinas has been made to squirm during an embarrassing grilling at the Corruption Commission. He was quizzed about massive political donations and a $900 limousine ride, but remembered remarkably little. Arthur Sinodinas is not accused of corruption, but his judgment and credibility is in the spotlight. What are you looking forward to today? I'll have more to say when we finish. Thank Isn't you. your political career in terms of the ministry over? No commentary, please. Sinodinas has stood aside as Assistant Federal Treasurer after details of his time as Chairman of private company Australian Water Holdings emerged. AWH, as it is known, is accused of billing New South Wales taxpayers for some curious expenses. A lot of that occurred between 2008 and 2011 when Sinodinas was on the board. He eventually became Chairman. Senator Sinodina says he didn't know AWH donated more than $72,000 to the Liberal Party, even though he was on the board of both organisations. And he could not recall being warned by a public servant about dishonest people at the company. I'm not into speculation, I'm into the facts. The money was flowing. Sinodina was paid $200,000 for less than 45 hours of work in a year. He also stood to make up to $20 million if AWH won a lucrative government contract, but it was blocked. Corrupt New South Wales Labor figure Eddie Obeid is accused of having a stake in the company and bailing it out. Senator Sinodinas was chairman at the time and does not recall the development. What I've uh, attempted to do here today is tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. For someone who was once Chief of Staff to Prime Minister John Howard, it's incredibly damaging that Arthur Sinodinas couldn't stay across the expenses of a company with just 10 employees. Incredibly, taxis weren't good enough for AWH. Even Arthur Sinodinas enjoyed an $890 limousine ride. A related corruption investigation involving more Liberal Party figures will start later this month. Kevin Wilde, Nine News.